People are so against eating pork chops, but bitch, I'm gonna eat pork chops to the day I fucking die, so. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're doing something kind of different. Um, I'm actually gonna make pork chops bitch I'm hungry and I feel like I sometimes cook but I don't cook all the time but when I do I'm like damn why didn't I film this so we're gonna film a pork chop dinner for y'all I already rinsed these pork chops off, so we're gonna start with that. Um, my seasonings are right here. Sorry if I'm kind of like crooked. I'm probably only gonna just season one side of them because I feel like if you season both sides, it makes it like a tad bit like salty. So I'm gonna use this first seasoning. This is the Nature's Season Seasoning Blend. I'm just gonna sprinkle that. Hopefully you guys can see. I'm just gonna sprinkle that on one side of the pork chop. People are so against eating pork chops, but bitch, I'm gonna eat pork chop to the day I fucking die. So that's just that. <laughs> I'm gonna take some onion powder. This is by McCormick. And I'm just gonna place that on there. Smells really good. Um, I'm taking some parsley flakes. We're just gonna put those on there as well. Some black pepper. You can take any black pepper of your choice. This is what I had handy, so this is what I'm using by um, private selection. Taking some paprika. Now, when I cook, y'all, I don't really measure. I just kind of eyeball it and just kind of go. I feel like that's just how it goes when you're cooking. I mean, some people like eyeball it, some people don't. It's just preference, I guess you can say. I'm gonna like rub that in and making sure I get that on each side of the pork chop. So we're turning this heat on, uh, I'd say like medium heat or so and I'm gonna go in with this butter can't believe it's butter it's full and full so yeah we're just waiting for these um onions to kind of saute what we're waiting for these onions to saute um, so maybe like 10 minutes or so I would say kind of let them like sizzle or whatever pork chops and I'm going to place these these look so good man look at that just place that in the pan
we're gonna let those cook like on mm, pork chops don't really take long to cook so I'm probably gonna cook them I don't know 15 minutes on each side obviously until all the pink is gone but um while we're waiting on those I'm gonna make some rice and I'm gonna show you guys how I make my rice with my pork chops so I'm using some jasmine rice I prefer jasmine rice than any other rice I actually have a cooker too that I'm gonna use this makes cooking rice 10 times easier so I recommend it sis if you're gonna um cook rice or if you cook rice all the time definitely get a rice cooker because it comes out perfect every single time trust me I open that up this bowl comes out like you see and again I don't usually measure the rice I just kind of eyeball it or, uh, water I don't really I just kind of eyeball it I just um, do water inside this a lot of people put too much water and then the rice becomes very um, like almost mush um, I don't really like that I kind of like my rice like a little firm not super firm to where it's like crunchy but um, to where it's like airy and fluffy but not too much but too little and for that trick um, I just put water in here but I cover the rice maybe about a half inch above how the regular rice is sitting inside. It's probably super complicated how I'm explaining this, but hopefully you guys are understanding. Put that in there. Making sure that lid is like really secure. Um, and you have like two options on here. You have white rice and brown rice. Obviously this is white rice, so you're gonna click the white rice option. You're gonna turn it on. Then you're gonna hit the white rice and it's gonna do like this on um, line or whatever right here on this thing maybe I can show you guys you see how that's kind of reading it's gonna do that until it actually is almost done and then it's gonna show up a number and it does like kind of a countdown so that you know when the rice is done so this is what the pork chops are looking like It actually looks pretty good. Let's flip on. You know what? We're going to get a rigget, so I just poured some of this chicken broth that we have um, in this bowl because I do not know where the measuring cup is. Um, probably about a fourth. Again, I'm eyeballing it. That's what I do when I cook. I'm taking some flour. They say cornstarch, but I'm just taking flour. I maybe do like a teaspoon or two. I'm do two teaspoons. I'm just going to mix this up. This is going to be my um, gravy. So y'all, this is the rice. The rice is done. It is nice and fluffy. That's really how I like it. You'll see that beautiful rice. I'm just gonna place some of that on this. Y'all, this is what it looks like. The pork chop up top and then the white rice on the bottom. This is so fucking good. Mm. Get that rice on there, bro. Mm. Oh. Again, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Um, and list below if you guys make this dinner um i actually got this recipe from chef boy philly this is like maybe my third time making it so i'll see you guys in my next video bye